Now, how this nasty little rumor got started that fruit makes you fat, I'll never really understand. It's probably one of two things. People trying to number one, lie to you so they can sell you something. Or people that just have incomplete information. They know a little bit, but not the whole story. So let's unpack what's really happening here. Number one, the logic is fruit is made of sugar and sugar makes you fat. Therefore, fruit makes you fat. Now, both of those statements are incorrect and the whole summation is therefore incorrect. But why is it the case? Number one, look at the research. Most of it shows that people that consume more whole fruit actually weigh less and they have less fat. And we're not talking fruit snacks, fruit juices, high fructose corn syrup, we're talking whole fresh fruit. So why is it the case actually if fruit is made of entirely sugar that people are still then losing more weight when they're eating a lot of whole fresh fruit? A couple of reasons. Number one, while the energy in, in fruit is mostly sugar, number one, it's a special type of sugar. Also, number two, it's actually mostly water. In this case, a banana is usually like 75% water. Other fruits, 80, 90, about 85% is the average, by the way. But a lot of fruits are 90 plus percent water. Watermelons are like 95% water. So we have an absolute volume issue. Right? We also have to consider this. If this thing is, say, 25 grams of carbohydrate, and that's basically what a banana is, you're talking 100 calories. If you're consuming 2,000 calories a day, this is 5% of your calories a day. This is not going to make you fat. Adding 100 calories, plus the nutrients, minerals, all that other stuff, there's no way that's actually causing you to gain 50 pounds. You probably have much bigger issues. In terms of 25 grams of carbohydrate, again, that's a really small number, actually. I suppose if you're trying to achieve ketosis or something, and you only want 50 grams of carbs a day, hey, it sounds like a lot. But most people in 2,000 calories a day are consuming about half of their calories from carbohydrate. So that's 1,000 calories, that's 250 grams a day of carbs. If this is 25, you're talking a tenth of your calories. You could eat, in theory, 10 of these a day. A handful of berries, a couple of things, there's no way some grapes are making you actually fat. Another thing people say a lot is, oh, it's the fructose. This part's true. They say, hey, fructose is only stored straight as fats, not processed like glucose, and that, that's kind of true. Therefore, if I eat fruit, which is full of fructose, I'll then store it all as fat. I won't actually be able to use that energy. And that's complete garbage. Let me explain to you why. Let's take the case of uh, maybe some blueberries. Okay, so this is a pint of blueberries. Two cups is a translation here, right? If you were to eat half of this thing, that's about 20 grams of carbohydrate. Now, no one would ever eat half of that. It would be very rare. A handful would be a quarter or a fifth of it. So you're talking like 5, 8, 10 grams, 40 calories, 35 calories. There's no way it's enough. In that cup, so imagine half this pint, of those 20 grams of carbs, about three or four, that's fiber. So you got to cut that out immediately. And then about three or four to maybe five are fructose. So now we've really chopped this stuff down. 10 grams of real stuff, five grams of fiber, five grams of fructose. Of that five grams of fructose, yes, it has to go to the liver. In fact, that's the benefit of fruit. It actually replenishes your muscle, your liver glycogen specifically. So it's a benefit post-exercise or recovery. But although it has to be processed there, the liver can actually hold like 50 grams. In most servings, even of things like this, this 25 grams here, if it has five grams of fructose, you're nowhere near going to extend over what the liver can handle because it can handle 50, all right? So even though this has entirely fructose and it can pretty much has to go to the liver, you got a long, you would have to eat 10 of these to exceed the liver's capacity to store fructose and then that fructose would be started to be stored as triglycerides. So because of all those reasons, the scientific evidence, the fiber, the understanding of fructose and what the liver can do with it, it's very, very unlikely fruit is making you obese or overweight. All right? Go eat your fruit. It's delicious. <laughs>